Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of J. Cruzy Films. As everybody knows, today, Alan Rickman has died. He was Professor Snape, um, the judge in Sweeney Todd, and many other roles. And then a couple days before that, Davy Bowie has died. In a way, this isn't a very good time, a very good way to start out the new year. Two very famous actors that many people, no matter who you were, knew him in some way. Both of them, in fact. And it's affected everybody. A lot of people did enjoy David Bowie. I didn't really know him that well in acting form or singing form. I just knew him in um, The Labyrinth. And I only knew Alan Rickman in... Um, Professor Snape's story, but even then, it was still just a great role. I always enjoyed Alan Rickman, and he was such a nice guy. I've read so much about him, and it is very hard to lose very two amazing people. Um, and whenever someone famous that I kind of know die. Um, I always see fan art of it. <clears throat> For example, when Robin Williams died, there was like so much fan art on like Google Images and websites and stuff of just his talents that he has done. The genie, the robot, Mrs. Doubtfire. When Satoru Iwata died, there was like all Nintendo characters putting flowers on a grave or like a Pokemon being the heart of Hall of Fame forever, stuff like that. Harold Ramis, in fact. Um, one of my f favorite pieces of art was um, a picture of um, Egon being sucked into the trap as the other three Ghostbusters say goodbye to him. And in a way, we are sad about them dying. Every one of these people. Oh, and also, some guy named Daniel Kyer, he's a YouTuber, often works with Markiplier. Um, there's even fan art of him, in fact. In, f in fact, let me get back to what I was saying. There was so many fan arts of these people. So many people that know them. And we're always knowing that when they die, we'll never see them again. But even then, even though they're dead, they're still going to live on. Not only in our movie, in their movies, but in fan art, in their games, in their videos, in whatever they've done. And of course, I sound really sappy here, but in our hearts. <sighs> even if you didn't like David Bowie or Alan Rickman or even Harold Ramis or Robin Williams, you do have to admit they did affect your childhood in a great way. Whether you've heard of them, whether you've just realized this, but nobody is immortal. But that doesn't mean that we can't make them immortal in some way. Just because their bodies aren't around doesn't mean that they aren't still going to be around in some way. If, say, someone like, I don't know, David Tennant for like Doctor Who fans, or in fact Daniel Radcliffe for Harry Potter fans, so many people would be affected by that. But even if they do die someday and eventually, we will always remember them. It will hurt. And it will take a big toll on fans of them. But in a way, you know that they're still going to be happy where they are. And as long as we remember who they are, as long as we watch their movies once in a while, or play their games, or just... Remember them. They're never going to be gone. 
nobody's ever just going to be gone because we'll always have the memories of them. Anyway, um, videos will be coming out in February, uh, maybe a little bit later though because stuff has been going on myself and I haven't had time to make videos. So it might be a little bit later, but um, <clears throat> I'm Jonah Cruzy. This has been another episode of J. Cruzy Films, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.